Hey everyone, I wanna to talk today about pain under the ball of the foot, under this area here. Uh, there are a number of different causes of uh, pain in that area, um, but what we're gonna talk about today is something called capsulitis, which is the most common cause of pain in this area. Now, the, if you look at these joints here, these are called the metatarsophalangeal joints, and like all joints, the, these bones are held together by ligaments. Now, the, the uh, ligaments that hold joints together are called a joint capsule. This is a joint capsule right here. So if there's too much pressure on these areas, then those, that capsule can become inflamed and, and damaged. And the standard treatment initially is to get pressure off it. We might use an orthotic to get pressure off that area, but sometimes that tissue just stops healing. The healing process itself stalls, and we need to do something to stimulate that healing. So there's, there's different ways to do it, but probably one of the more effective ways is something called shock wave therapy. This is a shock wave machine here. It's called extracorporal or outside the body shock wave therapy. In this handle is a little bullet that goes back and forth. And then that bullet goes back and forth, creates a pressure wave that comes out the head here. And when that is applied to tissue like a joint capsule, it creates some biologic changes in that tissue. Basically takes a non-healing tissue and stimulates a healing response. And a couple things occur. Number one is something called neovascularization or formation of new blood vessels. Second thing is release of what are called growth factors. These are proteins that stimulate healing. Now, as every treatment has, it, this, this treatment has advantages and disadvantages. The advantage to it, it's been shown on a lot of similar tissues to be very effective as stimulating healing, it can be 70 to 80% effective. Uh, it's, there's no risk whatsoever. No one's ever worse for having done shockwave therapy. And it's for the most part pretty painless. The downsides are it's slow. When it does work, it takes about four months to see the benefit for it, from it. Uh, and although it has been studied extensively on similar tissues, such as the joint of the shoulder, there are no specific studies on the metatarsal phalangeal joints. The other downside, it's not covered by insurance. It's not that expensive, but you're probably, depending where you are in the country, you're gonna spend between, between about $400 and $600 for that treatment. But it, it's a good non-invasive way to stimulate healing in tissue that is not otherwise healing, and certainly something to think about if you're having ball of foot pain that's just not getting better.